Hello and welcome to my channel. This is me, Samadrita, and welcome to another travel vlog where I went to the Cardiff Bay, which is a very colorful place with lots and lots of games. And I played two of them, which I've shown in the video. After the Cardiff Bay, I've gone straight to Swansea, which is a picturesque seaside. Amazing. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. We are on top of the bus going to the Cardiff Bay. It's a 50 minutes journey. I'm sitting on top of the open bus for the first time. Ratika, how does it feel? The bus drops you off in front of this Millennium Center, which is a major modern culture venue, staging theater, ballet, opera, etc. Let's now walk into the Cardiff Bay Fair and it welcomes you with the warm, sweet smell of crepes. To enjoy your delicious crepes in any weather, be it sun or rain, they have built some colorful tiny huts in front and you can enjoy your crepes sitting there. It also has some colorful candy, cotton candy, and it reminds me of our fair in India where every Indian fair would have these colorful pink, blue cotton candies. There were other food stalls like hot dogs, pizza, burgers, but trust me, I wasn't interested in the food at all because these soft toys got all my attention. I mean, what are these? Can I buy them or can I win them? This is the first game you see when you walk in and if you win it, you get to choose any of the soft toy. I don't know if my expression gives it all, but I was quite happy to walk in this carnival with so many soft toys and great many opportunities to win any of them. So the game here is, we have to put rings inside those bottles. And if we put one ring, then we can get any of these toys here. Let's try that. So they need cash, so I'm gonna exchange my card amount to cash and play the game. So the deal here was with three pounds you get to throw 30 rings and if you can get just one ring in a bottle you will get to choose any toy of any size in this shop and you get to take the soft toy home me and ritika tried our level best but trust me we were not even able to get one ring in the bottle but we didn't lose hope we tried the next game where we had to topple the cans with the use of these soft balls. There you go, I dropped 3 out of 6. But we turned out to be horrible losers at the end of this game as well. Now we hopped onto the next game to see what it was and with these hard balls we have to I think break the teeth of this shark. We didn't play it because it required a lot of strength. See the girl, she tried so hard but she couldn't move any one teeth. And now I know I don't have that kind of strength anymore. It's one pound for one ball. After losing all our hard earned money, <coughs> we are now walking towards the actual Cardiff Bay to see some natural beauty. So there's a board in my background taking you around the Cardiff. There's a list of where they will take you. First they will take you to the city centre, then Duke Park, Principality Stadium, Cardiff Castle, Shopping Centre. Okay, so only Butte Park is left. We have been to city centre, Principality Stadium, Cardiff Castle and Arcade will go soon. You will see all these videos in my channel and I had to actually move because somebody was staring at me talking to my phone. It's actually fair to say that it was a very pleasant day with our furry friend around and enjoying the sweet breeze of the Sunday. Silent place. Not it's like silent because it's Sunday. But there are a lot of people with their families because tomorrow is a bank holiday and there are a lot of families with their kids as you can see in my background and they're having a gala time. We are also kids, and that's why we're having a gala time as well. Ooh, what's that? Okay, so this is a statue for the rugby. I'm not sure. 
Now we are catching a train straight to Swansea and this was our second short day in Cardiff Bay. If you want to have a look at what we did in Cardiff for the rest of the previous day, do check out in my channel and do not forget to subscribe. GWR is the Great Western Railway and the ticket price from Cardiff to Swansea was £12 outbound and return. It will take you around 50 minutes to 1 hour to travel between the two cities. It was a bit busy, won't lie, but probably because it was a Sunday and the Monday was a bank holiday so it was a three day weekend and you see the number of people just coming out of the train, they are all either visiting Cardiff or going out of Cardiff to visit the nearby places. Swansea is the best getaway if you are looking forward to a relaxing weekend because honestly there is no hustle in Swansea and the reason for us to visit Swansea was it was the second biggest city in Wales. A bit of research told us that it has a very lively nightlife but honestly when we went out at night and that is around 8pm everything was closed with the exception of some free dance shows on the streets. It's tap dancing by hand maybe. And I had to put in all my years of professional dance training to give that a competition. But in the morning, the Swansea market is an interesting place to visit because it has all the things at a cheaper rate compared to London. Do try the cafeterias here because they sell some very delicious Welsh cake. And from this market, I got a semi-formal coat for £4. Not kidding, which I'll show you at the end of the video. The same kind of coat in London is not below £20. If you want to know what not to do in Swansea, then please listen to me and do not try Indian food in Swansea. It's not good. It was literally a struggle to finish this samosa chaat, which was presented in a biryani bowl. That speaks for it. This is the Swansea city center and it has some fountain and steps to sit on. All in all, Swansea is a very peaceful place. So that was our day in Cardiff Bay and Swansea. Hope you liked it. Leave any suggestions if you feel like. Do let us know if you want to go to any other place in UK through my screen. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.